Hey, true believers, this is Woody coming at you with another action figure review. Today we are looking at the Revolo Tech Jetsia Okemono Samurai Skeleton. Hopefully, I pronounced that correctly. If you like this action figure, um, first and foremost, definitely check out your local comic book shop or wherever you like to pick up your comics and action figures and see if you can grab this. If not, it is available online in many different places, and we're actually going to get into that as part of our background story with this figure. Now, normally we start off a review by showing you the box art um, that the action figure comes in. And unfortunately, this figure did not come in a box. Uh, instead, it arrived in just some basic plastic and bubble wrap. This was kind of my first red flag and the story we're going to get into. This is going to be primarily a negative review. And I just want to share my story with you all so that hopefully you do not make the same mistake. This action figure is available in many areas online. Um, Big Bad Toy Store, Amazon, all the way to eBay and AliExpress and things like that. And online, it is available in a wide variety of prices, although all of the figures and descriptions seem to be pretty much the same. But this little guy can range anywhere from $10 all the way up to $80 or $90, depending on where you are shopping. I did go the cheaper route, and I went with a cheap figure. And maybe that was part of my issue. <laughs> and why it arrived with no box. Um, again, this, this guy is all over the place, so I can't seem to find a difference on why some of the figures are very cheap and other figures are, you know, 80 to $90. It could be that this is some type of bootleg and the, the full price figure maybe is much better than this one. However, all the photos and video reviews that I could find all look pretty much identical. So if you guys have this figure, please comment down below. Tell me if I bought a stupid bootleg and that the real figure is better than this one. Or let me know if you have the same experience and hopefully you did not spend as much money um, on the full priced one. All that being said, let's get into some of the articulation and the accessories and find out whether this figure is worth it at any price. Regardless of the price point, it is neat to get some accessories. So first off, he has a stand, and this stand opens up and is great for accessory storage. So that's really nice. With it being a samurai figure, he does come with some samurai armor. Uh, when you first take him out of the box, he is wearing this, but it is very difficult to get on and off. You have to uh, kind of separate the torso from the pelvis, and then you have to open up this back piece in order to slide it out. So it is very difficult to get on and off. Um, I bought this figure primarily to use as a background skeleton, so I would prefer him without the armor. I took it off once and did not want to try to do it again. He also comes with a little samurai hat that we saw him wearing earlier. This does not fit on his head very well. It basically just balances there and any little movement, this will fall right off. Uh, but it is kind of a neat one. The paint apps on the accessories are actually pretty nice. Um, they are just kind of a, a black wash, but it does make it dingy and, and kind of awful looking like you would imagine a skeleton wearing. He also comes with kind of a conical hat. This one does fit on his head a little bit better. It's kind of molded on the inside. And that does seem to work a little bit better. He does come with another skull. What's nice about these is um, the jaws are articulated. So you do get a little bit of movement out of that. The skulls are pretty much the same though. Uh, there's a slight difference in coloring and a slight difference in the jaw. Other than that though, they are pretty much the same. So there's not much difference in them. 
He comes with six different hands. There are some, some open hands, and then there are some uh, kind of closed fists for holding weapons and some kind of mid-relaxed hands. And there are a total of six of them, so it's uh, three for each side. And that is kind of nice to see. He also comes with a katana, just kind of your basic sword shape. And then he also comes with this kind of long spear. This is in two parts that separate um, that little piece of plastic that holds it together is very thin and very delicate. So this, very much like the armor, I put it together once and did not want to try to take it apart and put it together again. As far as articulation, he is uh, pretty well movable. Basically, there are ball joints located everywhere. Um, these, again, are very tiny, very thin pieces of plastic. I immediately broke some when I was just taking off the armor for the first time. So this one down here where the pelvis and the spine connect, uh, that one is actually broken, and I put it back together with some hot glue. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry, some super glue, because I did not have a ball joint this tiny. I do have spare ball joints, but these are even smaller than what I have on some of my other figures. That being said, let's get into it. So first at the skull, both of these skulls do have an articulated jaw, although it does not move much. And on this particular one, it also seems kind of bent. So he does not really have much movement at all with that one. The other skull, as we saw earlier, that one does move quite a bit. He has two ball joints here at the the neck and skull, so he can turn his head sideways if needed. You can rotate that and have him look up and down more than I am doing, uh, but again, I don't want to risk breaking that little joint. He has another one there at the base of his neck, so that one kind of allows you to move him pretty much all the way down and mostly all the way back. Each arm has a ball joint there at the shoulder. These are very delicate, so I don't want to move it much. Um, but that should allow you to twist a full 360, as well as giving you an up and down movement. Same thing at the elbow. So you can bend that up quite a bit. Straighten it out, and it should allow a little bit of rotation if you're very delicate with it. The hands uh, just kind of peg into the arm, so that too you can rotate, as well as it does bend at the wrist. Again, I'm trying to be very careful. So there, it does uh, it bends at the wrist, as and, and I broke it. So be very, very delicate with this. Um, as we move down, we have another joint at the spine, so the whole rib cage also bends down. There should be another one here. That's the one I also broke and is being held together with glue, so it does not bend at the lower waist or at the pelvis anymore. Um, a brand new figure should. More ball joints at the hip. So that gives you a rocking movement and you should have a th full 360 twist. Knee, another ball joint. So that one, you don't quite get as much movement as you do up at the elbow. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this guy together. I will say these joints um, do not hold in place very well. So he is a little difficult to pose because it it's simply just with a little, little nudge, things start to move. So he kicks up pretty much all the way. And again, all the way backward as long as you're delicate with it and don't break it. Down at the ankle, same thing, another ball joint. So you can go pretty much all the way and rotate it if you're very careful. So quite a bit of articulation, but again, he's also very flimsy and very difficult to put in a pose and hold that pose. Um, the slightest nudge will knock him over. So here's our little 
uh, samurai figure next to a boss fight studio uh, skeleton and a mythic legion skeleton builder legion builder you can see he is quite a bit shorter even though he is advertised as a 1 12th scale um, he's only about maybe five and a half inches tall stay um, so he is quite a bit shorter than any of your typical six inch or 1 12th scale figures um, again i bought him just to kind of be a background figure i would say i slightly wasted my money even at the cheaper price point he is not a great figure just as a further uh, comparison if you were trying to build up your own skeleton army or or set of skeletons for your action figure photography there are some other options i highly recommend that boss fight studio one we did a review on that already and i had some negative comments but i almost take them all back because of the quality of this guy this one is far superior that being said there are some other options out there too this is a, a little skeleton from the dollar store these come in a four pack and i would say this is about the same quality as this although these don't really have articulation um, but a four pack of these skeletons in the background you know for a dollar you can't really go wrong likewise uh, these were for sale this halloween at our local walmart these were two dollars um, these figures are a little bit bigger they're actually more like seven inches but these have metal wires inside the arms so they have some posability and some rotation so again in the background of your photography i would almost say spend two dollars and get a bigger better figure than this guy so all that being said uh, again in the comments down below make fun of me or let me know if if you purchased this guy at the full price and it was much better quality than the the cheap version um, let me know if maybe this is just a bootleg and the real one is much better than this one if you've enjoyed what you've seen today please support your local comic shop or wherever you like to pick up your comics and action figures or some of the places we mentioned where you can get this guy online. Uh, speaking of, if you've enjoyed this review, we would really appreciate it if you would take a moment and hit the like, share, and subscribe. Um, and if you wouldn't mind hitting that little bony skeleton bell down at the bottom, that way the next time we upload a video, you will be notified. And we always like when you guys come to the channel. We love to hear your thoughts and your feedback and your comments down below and on our social media pages, where we'll also leave a link down in the description. So with all that said, thank you so much for stopping by. We hope you've had an amazing, an absolutely amazing day reading and happy hunting, true believers. And don't forget, video slideshow coming next.